Okay, guys. So it is. Caleb, turn on the light. Oh, yeah. Turn it on. It is the day that we get to go home. I'm still in the same dress because I can't wear anything else but loose clothing. And I didn't think I brought all like my jeans and my like tights and. Turn on the light. Turn it on. Yes. So um, I didn't come prepared because I, me hearing in and out procedure, I thought that I was gonna be able to come in and out and do my regular thing. You know, I didn't expect it to be like this. But anyway, so um, uh, at, right now we're just gonna pack up everything, finish packing up everything. And then we're gonna head home and um, once I get home I'm gonna shower and all of that stuff and honestly I'm still so tired because Caleb woke up at 3 in the morning and didn't go back to sleep so I have not slept because I literally fell asleep at 2 because I couldn't breathe so it's been very hectic and I just can't wait to get home I don't know if I vlog on the road much, it's gonna be just a big road trip that you guys have already seen by now. So, if anything interesting happens, I'll vlog it, but I'll, if not, then I'll see you guys once more.
we've been home for a while, but we've just been being lazy, kind of tired from the road. And then right now, we're gonna go get chicken. Chicken plates from one of our favorite places because Rotisserie chicken. It's rotisserie chicken. It comes with like rice, beans, jalapenos, and grilled onions, and like some really bomb salsa. So I'm excited. So I'm gonna go do that. Good morning, guys. As you can see, I just got out of the shower. Finally, I tried to shower, and I was supposed to take off my bandage, which I did. Like, I took off the little surgical tape that was around it, and I got to the part where the gauze was at. And as I lifted it, it didn't look too bad. It was just a minor cut or whatever. And kind of like bruised or whatever, you know, normal. But when I lifted the gauze, I felt like it was pulling on my stitch or my skin. And I was like, oh no. If I pull it and it bleeds, I'm going to have to go to the hospital because it's, it's on an artery. So I was like, should I pull it? Should I pull it? So no, I kept the, um, the original gauze. And I kind of just put new surgical tape around it, or medical tape around it. Um, so that's that. And I'm walking a little bit better. And right now I'm actually going to try and drive so I can go and get Caleb's meds. So we're going to see how I can do that because I have to go to work tomorrow. Well, I don't have to, but I, I want to. I don't want to stay here just sitting here like doing nothing. So we'll see how it goes when I drive. But right now I'm going to get dressed and put on makeup. And I'm going to try and resume my life as normal as possible because I have to gear up for the open heart surgery. So, um, I'm going to keep this bracelet on that says fall risk because um, I want people at work to know that I'm not 100% but I'm going to try my best, you know. And I want them to know why I can't be going up and down the stairs because where I work, I have to go upstairs to get to the office area that I work at. And sometimes I have to go downstairs to pick up prescriptions or deal with AAA patients. But I can't be doing that, so I also want proof as to why I can't do that as well. I don't want them to think I'm just lazy, but I don't want to hurt myself more than I would do want to heal. So there's that. So I will catch up with you guys once I'm dressed and I'm going to head out. So that's basically the look. I'm driving now. Kind of scared, but we'll see how that goes. I will catch up with you guys when I'm in the truck. Okay, so getting in the truck wasn't a problem. Um, <sighs> allergies. Sorry. But um, getting into the truck wasn't the problem. I got in and everything. I think I'm going to be fine, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot the seat a little bit more up than I already do because I'm short and I drive very close anyway. Okay. Um, sorry, I had to turn down Caleb's movie because it was gonna overpower my voice. But anyway, so I think I'm gonna scoot it closer than I originally am just because I do have it close anyway because I'm short. But um and if I do that I don't think I have to put as much pressure on the pedal or on my on the brake when I drive. So I'm gonna try and do that and see how that goes. So I'll keep you guys on here as long as I can. Let us see. Let's see how I back out. <laughs> Let's do this. Ready? Ready. Okay, so it's not hard so far. I think I'm okay. Okay, yeah. This isn't too hard. I think I can do it. So I'll catch up with you guys once I get to Walgreens because I don't have a stand and you guys are gonna fall. So I'll be right back. Ooh. Okay, so I got Caleb's meds. And now I am at my favorite place in the whole entire world because I was craving it. And let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Starbucks, if you can't okay. see it. I got my frap, my mom's coffee, and I got my egg whites right there. And Caleb, actually, I got him a pink drink because that's what he likes, but I asked for a tall and they gave me a venti, so. Oh my god. But he's enjoying it. Um, you like it? I like it. <laughs> they gave him a little bit too much, but um, I don't originally get him that much, trust me. But they accidentally made me a venti, but they did charge me for the tall, so I guess that's cool. But I'm going to head home, and I'll catch up with you guys when I get there.
so it's later on in the day I've just been lounging around the house I'm not trying to overdo it or anything um, but right now I'm gonna go to Halloween City to pick up a Halloween face paint palette because I want to try some looks out for Halloween and then I also I'm gonna go to Ulta to pick up some stuff that I need and then that's about it then tomorrow I'm back to work and all of that so um, my vlogging will probably lay low for a little while just because I'll be working and that's pretty much it so um, as for this whole experience um, from coming to San Antonio to getting back and having to recover and all of that it hasn't been the worst that I've been through or anything like that but it has been eventful and difficult it has its moments um, but I got through it and um, my hand is no longer swollen I'm walking a little bit better a little bit faster I'm getting up from my couch and off of the bed faster I'm getting on faster I can bend further and all that I'm starting to recuperate little by little fully to recuperate from my wound and inside and everything I'll take about six weeks but I think I'm doing pretty good for it not even being a week yet so um, there's that but besides that this whole experience just made me feel more blessed because if I hadn't have gone I wouldn't have found out about my valve and who knows what, have, what could have happened so right now I'm just gonna end all of this here and tell you guys thank you if you've watched this all the way through and tell you guys that I will continue to vlog. I will continue to make videos in between the time that I do recover from now and get my new, my actual open heart surgery. But for now, I'm going to end this here. And um, I just want to thank you guys for sticking by me, for those that have stuck by me. And so I will pick up another video soon. I'm not sure what it will be of or what. I just know that for right now, this whole process... I just need to regroup and gather myself, put myself together once again so I can get ready for the open heart surgery and so I can be very strong for that. Um, and when I do find out when I'm going to have it and anything like that, if there's any sort of medical update about that, I will come on here and let you guys know. But um, as for right now, thank you for watching this all the way through. I know it's a pretty long vlog. I'm still not even sure. By the time this is up, I'll know if I put it up in parts or all in one, but just from the first part that I edited from this, this vlog, it was about 47 minutes. So I don't know how I'm going to post it up, but by the time this is up, well, you guys will figure it out. So that's it from me until there's another update about my surgery. I do have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday with my cardiologist, and from there I'll know more. So if anything, I'll come on at that time and let you guys know. But about it right now I'm gonna go ahead I'll do my errands and then I'll see you guys soon